Alaska Garden. I'm with UAF Cooperative Extension Service and Tanana Chiefs Conference. I'm here in Homer, Alaska, checking out all the cool things farmers are doing here to extend the season, like high tunnels, hoop houses, low tunnels, and also the other cool tools they're using as small-scale farmers. I'm here with Wayne Jenkins here at Synergy Garden, and Wayne's going to show us the asparagus he planted last year and talk a little bit about the varieties he's growing and some experiments he's doing with asparagus. So Wayne, you planted this asparagus last year? Yes, yes, we planted um, three varieties uh, outside and in the high tunnel, which we'll see in a little while. And we, we, d we chose three varieties that we thought would give us uh, good flavor and production, but no one can really tell us, um, at least where we are in Alaska, um, which is going to perform best. So that's why we chose three rather than maybe just one or two. And the three varieties that we chose are Millennium, which came out of um, asparagus research, research in Canada. Mm -hmm. So we figured, you know, we'd probably be all right on um, survivability through the winter. Um, we also have Del Monte 361, which was an old um, high production commercial variety, but it was also known for really, really good flavor. And then Purple Passion, which is very popular right now in the lower 48 because of its, its deep purple color. And it, ha it has a really good flavor. Nice. So when did you plant it in the fall? Um, we actually planted this in the spring. Oh, okay. And um, I'm, I'm thinking it was probably May. We probably oh, worked, 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 worked the okay. beds up, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so it's late May now, and I don't really see yeah, that out it's here, coming up yet. Out here, it's not up yet. And, and we could speed it up a little bit. We could pull the hay off, and the beds would warm up even faster. Mm -hmm. But it's, you know, and we're not really in a big rush. Um, but there, it is a world of difference between what's going on out here and what's going on in the tunnels, which you'll see. But um, the ground is still really cold. You can tell by touch. Um, this is really, really good soil. These beds, uh, these raised beds have been amended um, specifically for vegetables and asparagus, which means a lot of lime. Mm -hmm. But this ground was um, alder ground, and it's, it's probably one of the richest spots on the farm. Nice. So we'll see how it performs. And so you've got hay as a mulch here. How thickly do you mulch them? For getting it through the winter, we start with about a foot, eight inches to a foot, wow. because it's going to compact down to six mm -hmm. to four inches. Um, but we really need a lot of insulation protection. What we always hope for is, you know, six to, to six inches to a foot of snow as a blanket. But a lot of times we don't get that. What we mm -hmm. get is ice. Yeah. And so these beds will just be coated with a layer of ice. Oh wow. And you can actually get, um, if your plants are in a cup of soil, it can freeze solid and then it can affect the crowns and freeze them out yeah. completely. Mm -hmm. We had an event a couple of years ago and people that had perennials um, for like 30, 40 years lost them. Wow. And a lot of people, a lot of local people with peonies lost their peonies at mm. that same year. Yeah. This weird ice freeze. Interesting. Well, let's go check out the asparagus in the high tunnels. You bet. Wow, it's incredible how tall these asparagus plants are here in the high tunnel. Yeah, they're doing great. They really like it in here. So it's near the end of May and your asparagus outside doesn't, hasn't even come up yet. And these are taller than we are. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty amazing. It's the same three varieties as out there. Um, and they're, they're the same age, and they were planted pretty much at the same time. Two-year-old crowns? Yep. And since they're fairly new asparagus, you're just letting them grow and fern out this year? Right. Um, and how many years will you do that? Oh, you're supposed to do it about three. I don't know if we can hold ourselves back. Um, we've test tasted a few of these already, just to try to get a hint of the flavor, um, and they're pretty good. Um, but they claim that if you start harvesting too early, you actually slow down production later on. So mm -hmm. we'll see how much self-control we have. And then what size of a spear do you harvest? About this size or a little bit bigger? Well, yeah, th I mean, that's small. I mean, you would hope for something bigger, you know, about as big around as, say, your, your finger or your thumb. And this is the purple passion, it looks like. Yep, yep. That's beautiful. Um, and 
you mulch inside as well, inside yeah. the high tunnel? Yeah, we, because asparagus can last 15, 20, 25 years, we put in the permanent, made a permanent raised bed. Um, but yeah, we always mulch it, mostly for weed control, weed suppression in the summer, mm -hmm. but it probably gives it some protection in the winter, but yeah. it doesn't get near as cold in here. Even, but though the soil does freeze solid down about six to 10 inches. Uh -huh. Interesting. Well, it looks like you're going to have a nice crop of asparagus in a few years. <laughs> yeah, it looks, looks like it's doing well. Mm -hmm.